All right, so now that we have laid a footprint, we have filled it in so we have a nice smooth foundation. Now I'm gonna show you how you can use commands or the code builder to build walls really quickly. I'm gonna demonstrate both. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is show you how to do this with commands. So again, we're gonna go back to this block, make sure that we're standing on it. So there is our friend 2865 negative 19. I'm gonna write that down. So 2865 negative 19. Then we run back over here to where we have marked out the second corner. So we want a wall from there to there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the concrete powder to just mark out about how high I want that wall to be. And this is gonna be a pretty big base. Uh, that's a little too high and that looks more like a cube. So I'm gonna take out some of that. And that looks pretty good. So this is how high I want this wall to be. So I'm going to stand here. I'm actually going to bring my agent here so that I can mark it. There we go. Thanks, agent. And now just so that I know how many blocks this is for later. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blocks. Boop. Okay. So that's going to be thirteen blocks high. Cool. Thanks, agent. So I'm going to go one down, because remember I'm using my fill command, and that does where my feet are. So I'm one down, I'm on this block right here. So what I'm going to do is use the fill command again, so slash fill, and then my other pink square off in the distance is at 28, 65, negative 19, and then I'm going to push tab, 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 and let's make this wall out of stripped spruce. That's a nice one. So we're gonna fill this with stripped spruce log. Go. And there we go. So we have created a big wall really, really quickly. But there is another way that we can do this. So I'm actually gonna take this one down so that I have my pink block again. So we can do this with Code Builder as well. So I'm gonna open up Code Builder. I'm gonna start a new project. So I'm gonna go back to Home, New Project. We're gonna call this one Fast Walls, Create. So on Chat Command Wall, we are going to go to the Advanced section. And when we open up the Advanced section, we have a category called Builder. So we're gonna go into Builder the first thing we're gonna do is builder teleport to 000. So this is where we are standing. The next thing we're gonna do is go back into builder and find this block, builder raise wall from mark with block of, and then a number. So we want the builder to raise a wall from mark where we are standing. And we're gonna change this to our spruce logs. So strip spruce. Let's just go spruce, and there's our stripped ones right there. And remember our height was 13, I think we said. So I'm going to click start, and I'm going to type wall. And perfect, there we go. So remember, we were standing there, and that raised this pillar. Now, a pillar doesn't seem very special, but check it out. Let's go to the next pink square we have blocked for where we want our walls to go. I'm gonna stand on this and I'm gonna type wall again. And it came over to us. Now I'm gonna go on a diagonal over to the pink square. And it's figured out the diagonal for us. And then back over here to this pink one. So this is one of the things that I wanted to show you, why it's really important to make sure you are on that square. Because if you are not on that square, you can have this wall be in exactly the wrong place. So I'm actually gonna use the fill command to fix it. So I'm writing down 28, 65, 24, so I remember it. 
and then I'm gonna go up to the top corner of the wall I don't need this one it's okay if we're above the block rather than on it because uh, we are just filling in with air so fill All right, let's see if we can fix this wall. So now to fix the wall, we have to go back into Code Builder so that the code has stopped running. We have to break it. Otherwise, the builder is gonna keep trying to loop around from the last place we were standing. So to fix this wall, I'm gonna go back to where I want the wall to continue. I'm gonna type in wall. <clears throat> There's our pillar. I'm gonna go over and make sure that I am standing on this block properly this time. There we go. And I'm gonna go finish it off by running over here. And there we go. That took a lot less time than building this by hand would have. So those are two ways you can use commands or the code builder to build really quick walls.